Now, I don't know about you, but I love to garden. I love to plant things and watch them grow. Now, I think it appeals to the pastor in me because I too love to watch people grow in their relationship with Christ. What I've learned over the years is that just like gardening, there are things that will either stunt a plant's growth or kill it altogether. Things like too much water and not enough sun, planting things too early in the year, not weeding the garden or just plain neglecting it altogether. Now add to that bad weather such as hail or a lack of rain, and you can see just how easily it is to threaten the growth of a plant. Now, people are no different. Paul tells us that there are things that can stunt a Christian's growth, which he calls immaturity or things that can kill your growth, well, altogether. As a matter of fact, Paul makes it clear that Satan is determined to stunt or kill your growth. The Bible says that Satan has schemes and wiles. His scheme? To kill your growth. His wiles? Well, his wiles are tactics that Satan uses against us. Things like bad theology, or false doctrines, or false teachers. In other words, Satan is also into giving gifts, and what he does is he gives people gifts who will do his bidding. For every spiritual gift that God gives to bless, Satan has a gift to destroy. And this makes sense when you understand that Satan has a counterfeit for everything that God has and does, including gifting people who are willing to do his bidding. Now, how do you know where your gifting comes from? Well, it's actually quite simple. Are you using your gifts to build people or to tear them down? Are you determined to create unity in the church or do you create disunity? Those words that come out of your mouth, do they heal and build or do they wound and condemn? The bottom line is, you've been gifted. Make no mistake, you have gifts. The question is, are you, how are you using that gifting? Can I suggest you ask the Holy Spirit to order your steps in such a way that you too are determined to build the church and become committed to creating unity in Christ? As the lesson points out, it will take hard work and determination, but it can happen if we're determined to make it happen. So let me ask, how will you use your gifts? Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow.